he was kind of laying on his left side, kind of almost in a fetal position. Three years ago, LaWanda Sterling found her son dead in this alley on Chicago's south side. He was my baby, but he left here a man. And that's hard at 16 mm -hmm. to die in an alley like a dog. Sterling says 16-year-old Jeremiah wasn't in a gang, but he was shot nine times anyway in an act of retaliation because he was mistaken for a gang member. In a neighborhood where gang violence and gunfire are commonplace, it's tough to move on. That must be kind of hard to just detach yourself from gunshots. If I don't, then I'll relive it. I can relive the way my son was shot in succession. I hear it in my head all the time. Mm -hmm. So when I hear a shot, I naturally jump. Just days after the FBI named Chicago the murder capital of the nation, an unknown gunman sprayed a basketball court with bullets Thursday night, shooting 13 people, including a three-year-old boy. Police immediately said it was gang-related and once again called for a ban on assault-style weapons. Illegal guns drive violence. And military-type weapons, like the one we believe to have been used in this shooting, belong on a battlefield, not on a street, or in a corner or in a park. At New Beginnings Church, Pastor Corey Brooks comforted Welcome several of the victims' families, and he voiced frustration that repeated violence hasn't brought sweeping change. And, and for it to be a shooting of 13 people in a park and all of America not rise up to the occasion to do something about it is very hurtful. LaWanda Sterling is frustrated too, frustrated that children she sees on her own block could become victims themselves. It's so commonly accepted. Another one shot. Oh, he was three. Oh, he's going to do five. No, that should not be the norm. They're living in wartime. They can't be kids. Kids who far too often die too young, just like her son. Diane Estabrook, Al Jazeera, Chicago.